Okay, next time I'm feeling a little rock. Your your side first. Okay. Are you up and on, Max? Let me show you what, what that will do to a piece of glass. Okay. That's, that's layer number two. Here's layer number one. That's what layer number one would look without it. Hmm. See how it makes it look like a deeper color? No. Which today you wouldn't do that. You um, have a different process to make do the same thing? We don't do it a lot. But there are times where we still do it. Um, for instance, we did a church down in uh, Salina. No, Delphus. Delphus, uh, where the uh, gown was, the glass was red. I have to think about this a minute. The glass was red for the guy's gown on the outside of the window, but on the inside of the window, it was green. And so. <laughs> In the nighttime, he has a green gown on because the light hits the green glass and bounces back to your eye, and he's got a green gown. And in the daytime, the red overpowers the green, and he has a red gown on in the daytime. <laughs> You'll see that uh, we hold everything in with German nails. And everything just kind of stays together uh, with the nails, and uh, as we build, we just keep moving the nails out farther. And he's working on this window right here. Um, you'll see your windows in lots of different stages. Here's layer number two of a different window. Check this one out. So each layer has to have its own rub so that we know where each piece goes. So the Do you know which one that goes to? This is, of? yeah, 2214. Okay, 2214, so you lay that on top of this, or that has its own framing, or? Yeah, actually, this goes like this. But you'll see how, uh, 
put it all the way right on this It'll go right on top. More lead around it. Yeah, or? we actually have to lead each of these independent. Like this will get lead together like its own okay. little window. Okay. And it'll have a U-channel on the outside, and then that gets soldered all the way around the outside to attach it to that piece. Yeah. It's like building two windows for every one. So you guys are going to get your money's worth on this yeah. one, let me tell you. Because <laughs> there was actually a little more double-layered glass than I thought there was. <laughs> we disassemble everything underwater for a few reasons. One, it helps soften the cement. Uh, it uh, helps clean the glass, but most importantly, it uh, keeps any lead dust that might be have soaked into the cement grouting, keeps the lead dust suspended in the water. So uh, we've developed a system here, and I've had a few studios now uh, duplicate our system, or at least come close. Uh, we have a self-contained system to where we it settles out into this tank, goes into this tank, settles again, goes into the final settling tank, then it gets filtered, and it gets, it's, we got clean water down here, so the water never leaves the building. Okay, I'm going right now. Really? I mean, it just, it, it just, just falls apart. Yeah. These windows were, you shouldn't be able to do that, that's half inch lead. Uh, you shouldn't be able to pull it apart. That's good. Mm -hmm. But it, they're just that rotten. Your lead was that rotten. Sucks out all, any, uh, soldering fumes. Everything gets spot soldered and then once it's spot soldered then we take and cement it with a, a grouting that's about the consistency of toothpaste and we scrub that in with brushes. Just for soldering? Uh -huh. On wide lead we spiral it to a whole bunch of strands together so that we can otherwise you end up with because you go through so much solder with uh, these kinds of windows. Just for soldering iron on it? Uh huh. It's a uh, 250 watt. So you just put it on there and then... Mm -hmm. Again.